Hey Mr. here, welcome to Sky Strikers Overview. Normally I would avoid anything that uses Gorilla Tag mechanics, though there appears to be certain exceptions to the rule with new features and you can only do so much with the base concept, but it's still possible seems like. So Sky Strikers is a competitive sports game where teaming up with players around the globe Using physics-driven mechanics, you need to score goals with whatever means possible and fly high in the arena-style gameplay. Usually, free-to-play games that are combining monkey-style anything. In general, there's not much to look out for, but here you have additional options like jetpacks leaning into flying across the environment, which is kinda superior to the grunt movement. In exchange, it's a management situation with energy levels and how far you can actually go. The overall thing borrows a lot from the Rocket League, which once you enter proper matches that are actually hard to find for some reason, Especially that the whole UI theme is based on Gorilla, so you need to manually do everything, it goes for the options and everything else. But coming back to the topic, it's very apparent it borrows a lot of concepts. For VR, it is something new, we've seen some different iterations for this football-esque thing. The game also has quite a lot of glitches or bugs, especially that Everything is centered around movement, so if you have some little ones that are not how they're supposed to be, then it kinda breaks the point. And the development focus in the future should be rather centered around polishing stuff. At the end, it comes down to the personal taste and mine are very apparent. If you'd enjoy a blatant crossover of Gorilla Tag and Rocket League, that's for you, but... Otherwise, there's not that much to look for. Let's go score some goals. Hi, Sky Striker. We found you drifting in space and restored you. You might feel a bit disoriented, so let's check your systems. Use your hands to push yourself around. What is this? Gorilla attack style movement, which is what it is. I can't get everything I want, every time. <laughs> Great! Movement seems normal. Let's tweak your settings to make sure everything feels just right. Do I, like, press buttons? Ah, that's not the option. If jumping feels a bit too much, head to the right and try flying instead. Jetstream is a solid choice for rookies. Ah, that's a choice. Why would you choose the grand movement though when you have flying? That doesn't make sense strategically. With Jetstream, you can soar above any obstacle. Fuel is limited, but touching any surface will recharge it. I mean, that changes everything. As a reformed Sky Striker, your goal is to score. We outfitted you with an air cannon in your arm. Give it a shot and launch that Sky Ball where it belongs. Ah, I don't literally hold it. And you can't have rapid movements. Nice work. Your systems are ready for the next challenge. Jump down into the practice room below. We still have packs, so... It's not like infinite gameplay. Behold my gym. Train as much as you want here. When you feel ready to meet other Sky Strikers, take the elevator in the center. And remember, you can always come back for extra training.
Okay, so... Where to the matches? Because I suppose it's just like training grunts. I mean, it could be fun. Except for this horrible resolution. Good luck out there. Come back anytime. Link successful and suit systems restored. Initiate a search protocol in the Nebula network. The transitions are okay. Out of frame drops though. There are no options though, like to customize anything. Initiating warp. Suit inoperative for your link successful and suit systems oh, restored. That? Welcome home, Sky Striker. Wait, what are you? What are you? Even? I'm a oh, come on. I'm the person who's placing I'm the person who just teleported the ball. I can't say anything. Run, go, yes. you, what are Run. you? Are no, you no, a no, no, stream? No, no. Or Bill Warp? Okay, Warp. I'll see what's the match. Uh, I'm just... Reading the actual notice board, because there's no information anywhere really. The actual matches are in the Hall of Heroes. But how I would know that beforehand, I essentially need to press a button there, and that's gonna be the game. Cool. <laughs> Let's do this. Maybe this is gonna be more organized. Ten seconds to glory. Whoa. <laughs> Some people have bats. Oh, there are some bulkheads. It seems like there is some distance to get this ball. But the further you are, the weaker it is. I don't expect to win today. <laughs> It's also because I can't stop this jetpack. It's kind of like I can counter them. <laughs> oh wow. God damn. <laughs> ah, this you guy is the top player in the game. I saw in the Call of Fame, so... How is that fair to... have a much making like that? They seem rather organized. Oh wow, okay. Don't mind me, I'm just wandering around here. Oh, it was so nice.
It's a brawl. <laughs> What the hell? This bat likes changes the directions of the ball really fast. Get out! <laughs> there are some rockets like. Oh, it's not covering the tutorial. Oh my god! I can't like control properly. Are we done? <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. Wow, that was like a such a strong pull. This match has ended, but you might want to line up for the next one, champion. Yeah, I'm not surprised there. <laughs> I mean, there's not much to say. Like, mechanics were interesting. Definitely an upgrade from the basic goal attack movement. I don't really understand the matchmaking, because we got a person that is the best in this game. Not like I'm blaming our lost, cause I definitely did not deserve anything here. <laughs> it is some kind of Rocket League crossover with, you know who, the ruler of the genre. And I do like the fact that you have different locomotions available, but see, like, there's some issues with infinite jetpack running and just unable to properly touch buttons like it's a mess graphically for a free game it ain't really bad maybe the resolution could be upgraded also this 360 i just noticed is pretty basic but that's outside of the point like you focus on the gameplay anyways and that seemed not innovative but at least something different easy to learn hard to master scenario which isn't a surprise 
It does seem rather glitchy in general, and with gains of that sort, you can't have that, cause every single movement counts, and if you have something that's in your way, that directly influences your output, which I hate when your skill is diminished by the incompetence of the developers. As a free game, it's quite nice, it needs some polish most likely, and coming from the early access stuff, the team will work harder being on the official store at last.